It started as a small in-home business in Gardner, North Dakota, but Jean and Kathy Schobinger have built it into a bustling enterprise called Swin Weather Vanes. They design hundreds of weather vanes, and as you'll see, the time and craftsmanship that goes into them is extraordinary. Jean's always worked with metal and always enjoyed creating things. And we started back with the weather vanes, and we've just continued on with the metal, and it's, it's been fun. You can go to your local hardware store and get a weather vane, but try to find a weather vane with a walleye on it or something unique. It just makes your, your, your opportunities so much wider. I mean, we do over 80 different dogs, up to 90 different dogs. I mean, when you can do a weather vane with a Karen Terrier on it, well, you got another market out there. And I think that's some of the reasons why we've done so well, is, is by doing the varieties of uh, different designs that we've done over the years. It was a phenomenal year. I'll be quite honest with you, I don't know the total of sales, but it was a phenomenal year. We do weather vanes, swirly gigs, switch plates, rain gauges, welcome signs, keychain holders, coat hangers, just a variety of things. The designs, it, it based on what the people want. Up here we're rural and we like farm and we like wilderness and when we come out with a new idea we usually lead with the deer, the moose, the farm sceneries and then we listen to the public because very much very much part of creating a product is having your ears open to the public. The public will tell you what they want. I think the funniest one was we had a gentleman out of South Carolina, I believe is where he was from, and he had a friend who was a deer hunter, and he won an outhouse with a bow and arrow coming out of the outhouse with the deer standing out front and it was very cute. We, we did it, we sent it to him, and he loved it, he loved it. We made a second one and for just wanting to see what would happen, so we put it on the internet, and it's actually went quite well. Many people with a good sense of humor. <laughs> so I developed and created the Swirly Gig based on a, on a Christmas ornament my uh, mom and dad got from, uh, from uh, Watkins Products. And I'm always looking for something to put my critters in. I always call them my critters. So I just put two and two together and got this thing. You develop something and say, well, what can I use this for? So then you, gotta, you just sit there and you think. And I guess it just comes to you. I just, you think, you know, you look and I, I look at everything. I'm driving down the road and, you know, I'm not paying attention. I shouldn't be, but, I, you know, I do. And, and I just, I, I like looking at and developing things and creating things. It's been a lot of magical opportunities. There's a company out of Wadena, Minnesota. They wanted to make a laser dealing with metal. And they knew we were over here and we were running a plasma. The owner came over and he asked Gene if he'd be interested in running a prototype laser. Gene says, I'd love to. And, and what a fun marriage that was. They brought over the first laser and we, we worked with it, we played with it, we run into the limits, limits they thought were possible to reach and they were over here and played with it. It, it was, it, it's fun and the opportunity was, we'd have never ever been able to get a laser had it not been for that company looking for the opportunity to find somebody who would run this prototype for them. We've always done craft shows. We do a phenomenal business on the internet. We not only throughout the United States, we ship into other countries. Last week we had Netherlands and Australia. We ship a lot to Australia, Great Britain, just all over. And that's fun too because you get to react with different people. and They'll send you pictures back of their weather vane in these other countries and it's quite fun. In this country you can dream a dream and it's there. It's there to get. And you don't have to be a young person, you don't have to be an old person. It's do you want the dream? And if you want the dream, you can have it in this country. In six years, look at what we've done. It was a dream we've always had, always a little scared to try for. And finally we said, you know, let's try it. What do we have to lose? And look at what we have. Dreams can be reached.